he saw that there was a mark and it was given to a man, rich and poor, high or low, the mark, the microchip is a mark of the beast. And we see it today. Yes. People think it's a good thing. And they reckon it with it. My God. But they don't realize that the sign is sold off to him. Praise the Lord Jesus. But you know, um, you know what I, what I think about is that um, if you tell somebody, I'm sure that they must have told his friend about Jesus somewhere along the line. But if you tell someone about God and they say, I don't believe in God. Where have, we have got to go? Where, where, where can it take? Where can it move from there? If they refuse to accept that there is a God, where can it move from there? Because the Bible says, he that cometh unto him must believe that he is. And so if you don't believe that he is, it don't make sense to come. Wasting the time. Praise the Lord Jesus. But you know, we're in the days now, trying times, perilous times, perilous times. The writer says, in the last days, perilous times shall come. Praise the Lord. And we're in perilous times. And you know what we have to do? Hold on to Jesus. Hold on to Him because. Is all we've got. <coughs> the arms of flesh will fail. We dare not trust our own. Praise the Lord. Only thing we can trust is Jesus and His blood that was shed for us. And that's why we, you know, sometimes we look at the empty benches and we say, what's going on? But the Bible told us that this day will not come unless things are falling away. You know, so you know what is good? When we when we have some doctrine. Some doctrine. We we need some doctrine. But for us to have some doctrine, you must have a soul mind. A sound doctrine cannot go into unstable mind. That's why I was reading with the name Paul says, pray for us that the Lord may deliver us from ungodly and wicked men. Praise the Lord. So we are living in a time now where we have to stay close to Jesus. Amen. Because dangers is all around us. Oh. Praise the name on the right and on the left. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But you know the scripture beating on my mind of um, taken from um, uh, Numbers chapter 22 when it tells us about this man named Balaam. Balaam. Balaam was a man who had uh, power. I was a prophet. He had the power to curse and to bless. It was internationally known that this man had power. You want to bless somebody, call him. You want to curse somebody, call him. And he may have blessed and cursed people and it materialized. But uh, we see children of Israel coming out of the land of Egypt. And when they reach a place, uh, the plains of Mo, it says on the side of Jordan by Jericho, they didn't reach Jericho yet, but they were going towards that way. And um, Bela, Bela, the people saw. The moment I saw the people come in, spread in, and 
devil afraid. They felt that there was a challenge that they couldn't cope with because they saw the children of Israel coming through the land and everything that they touch flattened. So they were concerned now that uh, they were going to be the next. The Bible says that Moab was so afraid because there were many in the children of Israel and they were distressed. When you're distressed and you're afraid, they do anything to get out of your distress mm -hmm. and fear. So Moab um, said unto the elders, uh, Now shall this company lick us up all around us. And lick it up like a lick of grass from the field, like the ox lick up the grass from the field. And Balak, who was then the king of the Moabites, I there's a man I know down there who can curse his people. And um, so he sent for Balak who had the power to be cursed and to bless. He sent his messenger, and his messenger came to him, and he said, what did he come for? He said, the people are in the land spreading, and we fear. Come, therefore, I pray thee, and curse the people. For they are mighty for me. Perventually, I shall prevail and uh, in the way and smite them. And I shall drive them out of the land. For I work that he whom thou blessed is blessed, and whom thou cursed is cursed. But may that didn't realize that God has blessed the people. And he could not reverse the blessing. Virgin, when you bless, you bless. Amen. When you bless, you can't be less. Because if God bless you, God can't take at his word. He said to Abraham, in blessing, I will bless thee. And in multiply, I will multiply thee. Blessed are daughter, blessed are they that you bless. Praise the Lord. God can you see God no reverse his word, you know. What does it mean? I know I'm blessed. And no matter what anybody said to me, it doesn't matter what they say about me. I'm blessed. No one can take it away. Not the forces of hell. So the elders they came and departed came to Balaam and spake unto Balaam and said unto him the word of Balak. And he said unto them, Lord, here tonight, this night, and I will bring you word again as the Lord shall speak unto me. He said to the princes of Moab, and they stayed. And I hear someone say, God no sleep. So while they were staying and sleeping, I make it pass. God was out watching over his people. So they were sleeping in the night. And God spoke unto Balaam, the man who had the power. So what these men come for? And he said, they were sent for by Nehal that I should curse his people. I know what God said to him. They are blessed. <laughs> you can't curse them. In no matter how powerful you think you are, or what you think you can do, you can't reverse their blessed. Praise the Lord. So now, Balaam told the princess what the Lord said unto him. 
and they went back to Balak and said, so says Balaam, these people are blessed. Now, my thought about this is that people believe that they can buy blessings. I can buy curse. Blessings and curse is in the hands of God, not in the hands of man. And the king, Balak, he thought, well, listen, I can bribe this man and I'm going to send more honorable people, like high up, more respected people. And he did. He sent the princess out to Balaam. I said, I will give you all the churches. Now some people, you know, they, 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 they serve God, but they have to mind. They serve God, but they serve two masters. They serve the spirit, and they serve the flesh. But we must serve one. And Bela, Bela thought he could buy Bela, Bela's blessing. So he sent them all he had, all his treasure. He said, anything you want. Now some people are happy to have the famous. And some people like fame and wealth. And they believe that is it. But fame and wealth can't buy, can't buy blessings. So he came to Balaam and said, no, these people are not blessed. But God said to, to Balaam the second time, go over here. Sometimes God allows us to do things that we're not supposed to do. And I'm not doing it. Right? So Balaam was going after the, the more honored princess come. He was following them now to go to curse the children of Israel. And God was not pleased. God was not pleased with Balaam. Because you know what? Balaam. It says that Balaam was uh, he was not an Israelite. He was a heathen prophet. And um, Balaam was a pagan prophet who practiced divinitation and other magical art. God doesn't even magic magic. That is divinitation. God doesn't deal with those things. And he was identified as being greedy. He won what he could receive of this world. You know, he was thinking about what he could possess of this world. He was thinking about the fame and how the king would be exalted and all those things and all the wishes that he would have. Some people sell the salvation for money. Yeah. I can have both. I can have the power to 
person cursed and I can have witches and I can have fame. And no matter, even though he knew that he was, he couldn't, he could not bless, he could not curse the children of Israel. He was yet going in hope that it could get fulfilled his loss. It was still going. And God was not happy. And the angel is still with writing now. And the angel stood before the donkey. And the ass. The ass. So the, the angel stood before the ass. And with a sword. And the, 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 the ass see the angel. With the prophet the angel. So the ass. I have better vision than the yeah. You see, when we start turning the other way now, the bad way, we will become fully blind. We will be fully, fully spiritually blind. So this was the ass, we saw the angel. And then I think it was the word stream, and said, okay. The man wants to get the one thing, so it's a very big So, so the horse now gets caught up in the nose in the church. Because God is trying to talk to him. But he did not listen. Because he didn't want to hear, he didn't want to feel. He blinded his eyes and deafened his ears. So he tried to go to another place now and the heart. The angel stand up. And the donkey start moving like this. And squeeze up his foot. Serve him right. Because when God says something, you have to say a source. You know, the problem with life going on, so time people, they believe that they can change the way God thinks. And they think they can change what God says. But what God says is what God means. Because He says, I am the Lord, I change not. Even the day from the days of your fathers, you have gone from my ordinances and I'm not kept them. Return unto me. So if there's a problem in life, it's not God to come to us and we can come back to God. Because God will change. God will move. And he has to Oh, 
from night So they put on the Bible. So when you see a donkey, a horse moving out of my head, put on the Bible. You know something, I'll tell you something. Me never had a horse before. And I, and I think those 1983 I went to Jamaica and I was working on this big farm. And uh, you know, I had lots of cows and houses and things. And I said, I never had a house before. The house sat up and everything. So I said, yeah. Water, which I'm going to go and try to look after. 
two years old. Mm -hmm. She bought the child so it's not what because she was having a bad day. Oh. What is that? Demonic activities. And a lot of those things are happening. Do we really sit in this air? Can a mind someone have to do that? That's not normal. That's not normal. That's extremely unnormal. So bear and cause the children of Israel. Because of a bad mind from the start. You see, the thing is that some people, because they do certain things and have certain influence, they believe that God is with them. Because they can influence certain things, they believe that God is with them. But this man believed he could influence the children of Israel. He caused them to sin. And the Bible tells me that God was vexed. Because we have the right to hold on. We can't be in the tree. No. And you know something? God don't make bargain. No. 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 God don't plead bargain. No. No. <laughs> Whatever God says, that is what is going to happen. You know that's right of David, you know? Because David, every time David goes into battle, you call his prophet and say, Why the Lord for me? Should we go? This nation. In quiet the Lord. Yeah. That means you know that if God said don't go, you're not to go. Because you're going to lose. Yeah. And so we today, we have to have the same mind and teachings that God has to go with us. I'm going to sing quiet of the Lord. Should I go? Should I stay? Because the word of the Lord, the Bible says the word of the Lord is coming to settle in heaven. The word of the Lord can't change. He says, heaven and earth shall pass away. But I shall not. But his word shall not. So, um, as he says about Balaam causes iniquity upon Israel. And then that was Moses was at the time and God told Moses to destroy. And um, God said uh, to them, take the head of the people and hang them up before me against the sun, that the fierceness of the anger may be turned away from Israel. God, God, God just cannot miss. 